My name is Mark Burton from Jacksonville, Florida. My question is, in your view, if you believe that Jesus came to Jerusalem in 70 AD in judgment, do you still believe in the personal glorious return of Jesus Christ? And if so, when in history do you think that would occur and what would be its purpose? Yes, I do believe Jesus will, re will return in bodily, physical form at the end of history to judge the world. In fact, He'll be ending history with that coming. This is mentioned in Acts chapter 1, verses 8 through 11, where He bodily ascended into heaven. The disciples watched Him with their eyes as He disappeared into heaven. And the angels tell the disciples, He will come in like manner. The judgment coming in A.D. 70 was not a visible, visible personal appearance of Jesus Christ. It was a metaphorical judgment scene. But Acts 1, verses 8 through 11, and other passages teach a visible personal return of Christ. The judgment coming on Jerusalem was said to be soon near at hand. It is said to be in this generation. Some who are standing here shall not taste of death until after they see it happen. This is very clear. That kind of coming occurred in the first century, but it was a metaphorical image of the, the great judgment that God wreaked upon Jerusalem. When we read references to the second advent, they're not confined as being near or close at hand or anything of that sort. They're spoken of as being in the distant future. In Acts 1 verse 7, when the disciples ask Him, Will you now restore uh, to Israel to the kingdom? He says, it's not for you to know the times and the seasons. He's talking about enormous time frames and seasons. This can't transpire shortly in our generation and things of that sort. In Matthew 25, he gives some parables. The parable of the ten virgins. Five are wise, five are foolish. And it says that the five foolish expected him to return soon and they didn't take enough oil. And after a long time, the master returns. This is not after a short time till AD 70. This is after a long time. 1 Corinthians 15, verses 23-26 clearly tie in a visible return of Christ that will effect the end when the resurrection occurs. The end has not occurred yet because history is going on. The resurrection has not occurred yet because dead bodies are still in the grave. So 1 Corinthians 15, verses 23-26 speak of an end to history and that transpires when Jesus returns to effect the resurrection.